we are nature, right? Like we are merely a divine reflection of the elements and not spending time with the elements is like, for me, like not spending time with myself and me being quiet, sitting in front of a tree is like literally like, it doesn't look like much from the outside, but like internally, like I'm fucking finding myself <laughs> in front of a tree. Um, yeah. Just observing the elements, observing nature itself, being quiet, being silent, being receptive to what's going on. Like, it, it would have to influence something within you, you know? Like, you see a cloud and you think, wow, that kind of looks like a pirate ship. I want to paint pirate ships. <laughs> or like, wow, the way that tree is swaying reminds me of a dance or, you know? So yeah, I think nature is just a reflection of ourselves. And to be disconnected from nature is to be disconnected from us, from our true core. Yeah. I was working on this song yesterday, um, shortly after sunset, and I had been struggling with it for about a week, just kind of adding to it. It wasn't really flowing um, as far as like the creativity and just the words, I couldn't really find it. And I was doing this chakra meditation today where the guy was describing an orange glow or he was saying to envision an orange glow around the sacral chakra which is the chakra of creativity and i had a thought in that moment like maybe my love for sunsets or my connection to sunsets has something to do with the enhancement of creativity in that moment that i was writing the song or just like finishing up the lyrics um which is like kind of crazy because I had always felt like I kind of tricked my subconscious into thinking that I just create better outdoors or just like create better in sunlight out in nature. But maybe it's just all interwoven and just comes down to simple spirit science. This nigga is trying to sweep up the. <laughs> this sweep nigga up. is spraying cleaner on this shit, bro. He's just spraying donuts. <laughs> he thinks he's Krispy Kreme. He's actually spraying donuts. What the fuck? Damn, that's crazy. Is this the. Maybe I'm stupid. Maybe this is the way to do it. <laughs> nah, bro. Nah. One summer's day, there's a lush green lawn waiting for you. Go there and lie down in the grass under the big sky. Watch the clouds float by. Look in between the blades of grass. Listen to the birds and the wind in the trees. <laughs> Are you there yet? Another round of sexual skies brought to you by this my jam. <laughs> Hell yeah. Bro, you can't tell me that shit ain't sexual. For real. Like, let's be let's be honest.
Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say less. Niggas acting like it's rocket, like it's science, like it's riddle. They be overcomplicating. I be known to keep it simple. Simplicity in its highest forms. I'm not out here living outside of my means if I don't need to, unless it serves me, this serves my highest good, serves my purpose. You know what I'm saying? Like this is this is it. This is the time to walk your own path, to do your own thing. To be out here in abundance for real, your version of abundance, whatever that might look like. Don't let anybody tell you that that your version of abundance isn't enough or because they're walking a different way, your path isn't the right path. Like, no, everyone's walking on their own path. Everyone's doing their own thing. And we should be bringing our paths together, unifying, going up. You know what I'm saying? Up is the only way. Unconditional love only. Don't love under the guise of attachment. Don't love under the guise of comparison. Unconditional love only. See the highest good in everyone and, and love them for that thing. Chick-fil-A lemonade hit. And I fucking hate pulp, but this shit hit. More in store at the core is what I'm about, yeah. I got more here in you 